So Chuck, a couple of years ago, we did an explainer on meteor showers. Okay, yes. All right, and I thought I'd add a couple of things to it. It was only days ago where a very bright fireball mm -hmm. came across the New York skyline. Yes. Yes, and uh, people were looking, and they were like, this is it. <laughs> it's over. This is the opening of the movie. <laughs> so what is a fireball? It's simply a bigger meteor. Uh -huh. all right, most meteors are the size of a pea. So you have an asteroid, okay. all right? There's a rock moving around the sun. Right. Some of their orbits cross the orbit of the Earth. And asteroids we think of as big objects, but they're smaller bits of rock out there. Right. All right. As it moves through Earth's atmosphere and is rendered a glow, we call it a meteor. Okay. See that meteor? Look it, at that. It's synonymous with shooting star right. or falling star. Okay. Okay. The same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Right. All Not right. in Hollywood. If it is big enough to survive this encounter with Earth's atmosphere, okay. then a piece will land on the ground. Okay. You yeah. go pick up that piece, Ooh. it's no longer a meteor. It's a meteorite. Meteorite. That's it. Mm. So we have two different words for the same object. For the same thing. Just simply if it's visible if it's, in the air. If it's in flight, it's not a meteorite. Did you just make that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And depending on what the structural integrity of the rock is, uh -huh. will determine how big it has to be in order to survive the trip. Okay. By the way, it takes seconds to come through the air. Right, the, the full yeah. width of the atmosphere.